Ooh, let's get started. How did I learn about AI and machine learning? The first time I heard about AI and machine learning was when I was a graduate student in chemistry and we had a workshop about how we can apply AI and machine learning for chemistry related problems. Most people that I know and that I've spoken to first heard about AI and machine learning when ChatGPT came about. I always wanted to learn about what LLMs are and today I will be talking a little bit about this resource that I found and I have been using this myself to learn about LLMs for about a couple of weeks now. And I think this is an amazing resource, which is why I want to share with you what specific resource I'm talking about, what other resources that I have used to learn about these large language models and why I think large language models are just the stepping stone or the tip of the iceberg of what's about to happen in the next few years. You can actually use this resource to learn a lot more about machine learning because this resource builds everything from scratch and if you actually read what's in this resource, you're going to know a lot more about machine learning in general. You will find this resource really helpful because it gives you an overview of how data can be transformed into a form that machines can understand and use that data to actually train highly accurate and very specific models for your task. Let me just pause here for a second and ask you a question. What type of machine learning models or deep learning models are you interested in learning? Let me know in the comments below. That way I know what my audience wants, my audience that is you, and then I can tailor my videos specifically for you. So let me know down below in the comment section. And while you're at it, do hit the like button. It goes a long way in supporting our channel. So thank you so much. So a few months ago, I found this book. It's too far. I found this book by Sebastian. I'm not even going to try and spell his last name. I know I will butcher it. But this book has been a fantastic resource. And the reason I say that is because not only is it comprehensive, but the language used in the book is so simple that even a person who's not familiar with coding or not familiar with some of the computer science terms can easily understand this. There are many concepts in this book that at first may seem like way over your head, but believe me, if you read it a couple of times, you will certainly understand every specific concept. In general, I really like how this book is designed. There's a lot of figures, there are code snippets. There's also lecture videos associated with this book on Sebastian's YouTube channel, which I will leave a link to down below in the description. And by the way, if you want to learn every day consistently over a long period of time, you should try the sponsor of today's video, Brilliant. Brilliant helps you get smarter every day with thousands of interactive lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis, and AI. Brilliant is a hands-on learning app designed for deep understanding. Unlike passive lecture videos, its hands-on approach proven to be six times more impactful helps you build knowledge from the ground up through problem solving. The platform combines challenging exercises motivational features and friendly competition to keep you progressing. All content is developed by an award-winning team of educators from MIT, Stanford, and Caltech, as well as tech companies like Google and Microsoft. It helps you learn every day for both professional and personal growth. Brilliant helps you build real knowledge in just a few minutes a day. I have been trying this for a few days now to learn LLMs, and it's brilliant. It's also got a comprehensive range of math courses for learners of any level, whether you want to brush up on fundamentals or challenge yourself with advanced concepts, Brilliant helps you enhance your visual and spatial problem solving skills and lets you focus on the essentials that highlight the most useful math concepts. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash chemcoder or scan the QR code on screen, or you can click on the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Thank you Brilliant for sponsoring today's video. Now back to the video. Let me share how I started learning with this book. So I picked up this book when it first came out back, I think in October of last year or something, but I never really had the chance, the time, the opportunity to actually go through the entire book line by line right away. But I did spend quite a lot of time last week going through this book, reading this book, also going through a couple of other resources that Sebastian mentions, not only in this book, but also on his YouTube channel. So overall, I've used 
a combination of all of these resources to actually learn about large language models. So I haven't really done anything with what I've learned from this book, but you know, maybe that's for another video. So let me tell you about how I used all of these resources and also give you an idea of what you can do to start learning large language models, some of the steps that I took so that you can get a feel for what's actually required in order to learn large language models completely from scratch. That's what the book says, from scratch. So let's see. If you're someone who doesn't want to read the entire book, which is like 340 pages, then there is this resource online. I'll share the link again in, in the description of this video. It's basically a GitHub page that Sebastian has put forth, which has all the code that you need that's also in this book. So if you don't feel like reading this entire book, you can simply go to that particular GitHub page, go through all the code, all the scripts, line by line, and that should give you an idea of how to actually build your own LLMs from scratch. Now, here's another resource. Again, this is by Sebastian, and I think there's also a link on his GitHub page, which is basically the resources that you can use on Lightning AI. Now, I'm not sponsored by Sebastian or any of this. I'm not looking forward to that, but I will tell you using Lightning AI for this particular tutorial is fantastic. If you need to learn LLMs, use the scripts that are on Lightning AI because it will really help you learn seamlessly. You can run your code on there, the code that's already written by Sebastian. I think Sebastian's the only person who wrote the entire stuff. If that's the case, then I think what he's done is a fantastic job. Kudos to him. And I hope I could meet him one day because uh, he's really inspired me here. So on Lightning AI, you can actually learn by running individual code snippets for every section that's in this book. So what that helps you with is it reinforces the concepts that you read in this book. And if you're not someone who likes to read this book, those concepts that are there in those notebooks will help you understand and give you a general idea of how the ins and outs of LLMs work. And you can also try with your own data, for example, how the encoder and decoder work. You can simply put in your own sentence, see how that works, how the dictionary is built and stored, how the dictionary can be extended and basically learn that way. Here's one thing that I will mention as a requirement to learn LLMs. You need to be at least fairly knowledgeable about Python. You need to know the syntax of Python and how you can use object-oriented programming in Python. If you know this, or if you've at least had some experience with object-oriented programming with Python, then this course will be almost seamless for you. There is one concept though that I found to be a little bit more challenging to understand right away, and that was the concepts related to the attention mechanism in LLMs. But the really good thing about this book is Sebastian really Oh, that's on a screen here. How about this? As you can see here, Sebastian really shows how the self-attention structure really works in the large language model. He breaks it down really well and simple and easy for you to learn and just be awesome at it. There are some slightly advanced concepts like causal attention and then training the attention weights, which I think are really important concepts, which Sebastian on his YouTube channel really explains it well. So I have used a combination of all of these resources to actually understand how each of these complex concepts work. Now I say complex, but it seemed complex to me, but maybe not be that complex for you. So, you know, why not give it a try? Worst case scenario, you'll end up learning more than what you know right now. So do consider that. And the good part about this book is most of the LLM stuff building from scratch actually is covered completely from chapter two to four. The rest of the chapters are mostly about how you can fine tune a model and how you can apply it for any particular, you know, use case situations and things like that. And if you're on his Lightning AI platform, the notebooks on the Lightning AI platform, then there are a lot of codes and exercises that you can do to get better at this. Now, I haven't done the exercise yet, but I think I'll be taking a crack at that pretty soon because I'm really enjoying learning LLMs in general. There's also snippets of code that's related to actually turning the GPT model into an actual chatbot and, you know, whatnot. So you can use a lot of those supplementary information to learn about the concepts that you want to learn about. So for example, it's been a while since I used PyTorch, so I needed a refresher on learning the dataset and data loader class, which I think was amazing because there is a certain 
supplementary code specifically for that. So I thought that was helpful. Then there's also sections for optimizing the model and making sure that you have your data organized in the most optimizable way. And then there's also instructions for fine tuning a model. So you could technically take the GPT model and fine tune it or what you need it for and then use that for a specific task. And a lot of people have built apps using the strategy and make money by selling apps, which may seem like a daunting task, but a lot of people have already done that. So maybe you need to find another way of, you know, selling apps maybe. And all you need to do is pick up this resource, either the book, if you want to work on the notebooks that are available on his GitHub page, whatever it is, like you have all the resources there that you can use to actually apply your knowledge either to find your next job or build apps and sell those apps to whoever wants it. So there's a lot of potential here. And if you're wondering, I will definitely leave a link to this book in the description. Do check that out. So now to answer the question of how long it took me to learn or actually read this entire book, it took about two weeks in total to learn this. But I will tell you that it's worth every minute that you spend on this book. Now, let me be honest here, even though I have read this book and gone through the notebooks on Lightning AI line by line, executing everything, it still doesn't make me an expert in this field. It still doesn't make me qualified enough to go out there and get a job. So if you're someone who does this in two weeks, it doesn't guarantee you anything. But what it does is it teaches you a lot of stuff that you don't know before or you didn't know before. There's definitely a lot of learning that I did over the last couple of weeks. After two weeks of learning, can I build my own LLM from scratch without referencing this book? Absolutely not. That's not the point whatsoever. So what I'm trying to say is even if you pick up this book or any other resource out there, spend a couple of weeks learning all the concepts, it does not guarantee that you can do it from scratch. And it's not the point of memorizing anything, but most importantly, it's all about learning the concepts. Because let's say when you move to the next step, whether it's your next job or whatever it is, like you build, let's say you build an LLM from scratch using some resources like this book, then when it comes time to testing your models and deploying the models, you should be aware of why your model performs in a good way or in a bad way. And if there is a need to change anything with respect to the architecture of the model or with respect to how much data and what type of data you need to train your model, you should be aware of all the basic concepts that are in this particular book. Think of it as a tool that you need to succeed in the long term. So what am I going to do with LLMs? I seriously think that LLMs are still in the early stages. When I first picked up this book, or actually before I started reading this book, I felt like LLMs may have reached a limit already. You know, there's not going to be any more jobs or technology coming off of LLMs because everybody seems to be using it. But after reading this book, I feel like maybe this is just the tip of the iceberg and there's a lot more to show up that will come up in the near future with LLMs. So what I'm going to be focusing on doing going forward is I will look and explore for ways in which the field of chemistry can apply large language models. So I am pretty sure once you finish reading this book or going through all the resources and learning LLMs, you should also be in a position where you will start thinking of, oh, how am I going to apply LLMs in my field? Because if we can make a breakthrough in terms of using the LLM architecture, it may not be the entire architecture, you could use, say, the concepts related to the encoder and decoder and also the self-attention module that's in LLMs. If that can be used to creatively solve a problem in your field, believe it or not, you will be one of the most leading people, which is why I will be exploring the application of LLMs and the concepts in LLMs in my field. Another important concept that this book talks about and also the notebooks on Lightning AI talks about are the GPT model itself so that you get a better understanding of how the GPT model works and what it needs and why it's so good. With that being said, check out the links in the description for all the resources you need and don't forget to hit the like button. It really supports our channel and let us know what you think and what video you want me to work on next and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one.